Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for today. Today I'm doing a full body workout. My very first exercise is gonna get my body pumping right away. So we're gonna start with high knees. So I have my interval timer set for one minute. Here we go. So the goal is to keep your knees lifting high and keep moving the whole time. And make sure you're pushing yourself. Keep breathing and keep moving. Make sure your knees are getting to hip height. You'll feel it working your abs better that way. Twenty seconds left. So we're going for a full minute. Check that they're high. Oh, I slacked off a bit. Okay. Keep breathing. <sighs> okay, next exercise, I have plie squat stretch. So I'm gonna do it with the weight, but I'll show you how it is without one first. <sighs> Feet are gonna go more than shoulder width apart, so really nice and wide. Toes pointed out at an angle. You're going to squeeze your butt, bend all the way down, keeping your knees pressed open. So don't let them fall in, press them out and then squeeze all the way up. That's the first half. Go back down and then lean. That's one. And then to the other side, squeezing up, lean. That's two. I'm gonna add a weight just to add the intensity. Here we go. So keep focus on form. One. Two, three, tuck that tailbone down. No arch backs for this one. Four, oh. <laughs> five, six, seven, focus on squeezing up. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My butt clenches every time I go up. Thirteen, fourteen. 15, only five more, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I need a sip of water. And then the next exercise is mountain climbers, which is also timed. Okay. So I have my timer set still. For this exercise, you go from a plank, drive those knees toward your chest. You can jump them forward if you would like. Here we go. And the goal is to keep moving the whole time. And keep that core tight. So you're really working those abs. That's 15 seconds down already. Halfway done. Twenty seconds left to go. A 
Last 10. Keep pushing. Okay, next exercise. Tick-tock abs. Okay, so for this one, I get to lay down for a minute. <laughs> um, so during this exercise, you get to extend your arms out to the side. You can do them palms up, I do palms down. And both feet are gonna lift to the ceiling. Try and keep your heels together at the same level. So we're gonna drop them to the right and the left and try not to let your feet stagger. Try and keep your hips turning evenly. And as you drop your feet one way, your head looks the opposite way. So my feet drop right, trying to keep my feet even. Head looks left. Lift it up from the core. And then drop the other way. Lift from the core, that's two. Also, I'm not letting my feet rest. Down in between, almost. They're slightly above the ground. Three. Four. Five. This is great for your entire core and also for your digest digestion. Six. Seven. Eight. Try and keep both shoulders on the floor the whole time so you're really working from the core. That was nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, four more, 17, 18, 19, last one. 20. Next exercise. Next we're doing a frog hopper. Okay. So you get to turn over. And this one's fun. Um, what you do is you start in your plank position, frog hop forward and up. That's one. And jump it back. Core pulls in tight. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, fun but hard. <laughs> Thirteen. 14, 15, five more, 16, 17, I need to stretch it out, my thighs are burning, okay that was 17 right? Yes, I think. 18, 19, 20. Okay, next exercise. Angel abs. Okay. You'll be happy to work abs. I am. <laughs> uh, okay, so for this one, you get to balance on your butt. And... You're going to 
straighten out your back, lift your knees, and point your fingers forward. Drop your knees to the left, bring it all the way around, and up to the right side of your arms. That's one. Stretch it out, and up. That's two. Three. Four. Don't relax down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Try and keep those arms still. Ten. Eleven. So it's your legs that are moving. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. <sighs> Next exercise. Decline Spider-Man. Okay, so I'm using this for this exercise. You can also use a sturdy chair um, or a low stool or even just a little um, aerobic step. The height isn't going to matter so much as just getting the movement down. So, for this exercise, tops of your toes on the incline, core pulls in, hands are below your shoulders, and you're going to lift and bring your knee to your elbow. That's one. Other side. That's two. Three. Lift. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Last one. Twenty. Next exercise. We're doing Russians. Okay. So I have my timer again. Okay, for this exercise, um, if you're a beginner, you're just going to kick like this the whole time. If you're more advanced, you're going to lift your butt, keep it lifted, and jump back and forth for a minute. Okay, so here we go. My fingertips are facing my toes. If that's not comfortable for you, shift your hands. My shoelace is untied. <laughs> We're 20 seconds in. Keep kicking. Less than 30 seconds to go. Fifteen seconds left. Keep breathing. Last five. Ah. Okay. Time to tie my shoe. What's the next exercise? Next up, we're doing reverse crunch lift. Okay, for this one, we lay down on our mat again. And what you're going to do is keep your chest lifted, keep your shoulders lifted, hands behind your head or slightly wider. You're going to reach out and, and push it up out bring it in push it up that's two out in push it up three out in four five six try and keep those shoulders up seven eight nine ten eleven Lift, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, push it out, 18, 19, last one, 20, last exercise. Last exercise. Okay, for this one, I'm not going to do this on my mat because it's sweaty. Um, but I'll show you the modification on the mat. We are going to do a back bend, so full wheel pose. If you're not ready for that, if you can't hold it up securely and safely, what you're going to do is lay on your mat, lift your hips, and then bring your shoulder blades under to support your body, and clasp your hands. And you're going to just do small pulses to try and strengthen your core and your back. So small lift, small lift. Okay, if you have the strength to do a back bend safely, we're gonna do a back bend and rock. So lay on the floor, hands come beside your, beside your ears. Don't lay on your hair. And you're gonna lift up into your back bend and then rock forward onto your hands and back. Two, three, Do not four. try this unless you're ready for it. Five, correct. Six, seven, you can even just practice holding your back bend. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 and gently lay down <laughs> okay guys that's one round of my workout tonight <laughs> so check it out the breakdown will be on my blog like always <sighs> check it out <laughs> um everything you need to know will be there benderfitness.com plus over 300 other free workouts recipes and tips for healthy living so thanks for joining me guys i will see you tomorrow with a brand new workout have a good night.